Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. This is part 4 where last time we just barely escaped the Paragus mining facility getting blasted in the asteroid field by the Harbinger but we made it. We're in hyperspace, we're en route to Telos with an injured passenger in uh, in one of our little cargo bays there in one of the, uh, you know, one of the little apartments, the cruisy little cushy five-star living spaces we've got on the Ebon Hawk. And sh she has a particular affiliation with the dark side. Uh, the former master of uh, the Sith Lord currently in pursuit of our last remaining Jedi friend here. And it is a very curious beginning to the tale and I can't wait to continue. And we're going to do that today. So we're going to figure out what the hell's going on with this force bond. Yet again, another force bond between our main character and another figure in our main party, similar to the first game, except with a twist, because she, unbeknownst to the party, uh, has connections to the dark side, which we identified when we noticed that she had uh, a dark side power just straight up before she even had a light side power so it, yeah I'm glad that they didn't you know keep it in suspense for, for a while they just let you go with it now we know that information um, which makes it just really interesting as to what will come next you know when will our characters find out and what are the consequences of that how that's gonna how is that gonna pay off you know I can't wait to find out uh, we spoke to her last time got some more information on our on our bond which does also increase our attunement to the force together but we need to go speak to Atten now about our trip to Telos so let's continue with the game and find out what happens this time how's our passenger she's still aging <laughs> cryptic as always <laughs> what a surprise just so you Jedi know, the whole cryptic routine isn't mysterious, it's just irritating. If you really can see the future, you should be at the Bazak table. <laughs> oh, I don't think Kriya is a Jedi. Then she must be royalty, because she's got to be queen of the galaxy to bark out orders like that. Or maybe she's senile. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. My favorite thing about this scene right now is not only is Atten's very witty jokes, but the fact that Atten is over here doing this on the computer. I Do you think Atten is also force sensitive? The computer is not even over there, but he's over here tapping away on his little buttons there. Uh, this is my favorite thing about the fact that the, the consoles and all of the equipment is so far away from the seat and he's just sitting there just tapping away in the air. <laughs> Good looking. Are you that desperate? Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shadda Red Sector right now. After spacing that old witch, of course. He's not even in the chair, bro. I, I, it's, he's definitely glitching in that chair. I'm 100% sure he is supposed to be facing hyperspace way uh still not being able to make contact with the buttons but at least it's in the same direction currently he is levitating i am convinced atten is actually a secret force user by his ability to not only use the console buttons on the ebon hawk without looking but while levitating off of a chair and using the force to do so so i think he's accidentally revealing his uh, force sensitivity to us and he's not even aware of it that's how powerful he is with the force um yeah really not, not sure what's going on there but we'll <laughs> we'll uh we'll proceed uh look he's off the insults she was wounded helping us escape remember whoa all right all right don't get mad at me hey i didn't ask her to stay behind and get her hand cut off okay i mean i appreciate what she did and all but she could stand to lay off the insults herself you know that is true, she does kind of lay into you quite a bit there, bud, but I mean, look, at least Kriya probably knows how to sit in a chair correctly, you know? Getting empathy from you is like squeezing water from a stone. Yeah? Well, how much water you get from a stone depends what planet you're on. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I wanted to ask you some questions. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look, I respect your privacy. I mean, when have I ever asked you any questions? I mean, besides that one. What did you mean about the galaxy map not being much use? 
Well, the astrogation system is voice printed and locked down, but that T3 unit is doubling as the astrogation system. You can try to plot a course, but without that T3 unit to perform the calculations, you'd probably plow us into a star. As long as he doesn't steal the ship, we should be all right. Look, T3's a good droid. I mean, personally, me, this character in this game, I don't know him, but I take it on good authority that uh, he's a good he's a good droid. You let him be. Who voice printed the astrogation system? I have no idea. Previous owner, maybe? Love to get it overhauled, but that's a major job. Besides, the droid will be good enough for now. Why would someone lock the astrogation system? Takes all kinds. Maybe someone didn't want anybody taking the ship out of the system, or knowing where the ship had been. Smugglers do it all the time in case the Republic decides to board them. Or so I hear. <laughs> also I hear, I'm definitely not the smuggler type. Uh, do you know anything about that assassin droid? Oh, we've got who voice printed it as well. I have no idea. Oh no, hang Previous on. Owner? I read that wrong. Uh, do you know anything about that assassin droid? No, not much. Except sounds like it was after you. As far as I'm concerned, you handled that pretty well. No more droid, no more problem. Uh, I actually thought we were going to bring up the one that was, you know, on the ship with us at the moment. The, the game doesn't specify the difference between uh, the two HK Assassin droids we've encountered so far. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you know anything about that Assassin droid? Yeah, which, which one? The one rusting in the cupboard or the one that we blew up? What would make droids go crazy like that? <laughs> yeah, well, you got me there. Look, droids, I don't trust them. That one we fought... Some of them are built like that. Others just, well, break. In the head. Sometimes conflicting orders cause it. Give a droid too much data or tell it to do something it can't do, it'll crack their behavior module in half. Others just don't get memory wipes and they start going crazy. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think that little trash compactor's long overdue. <laughs> Trust me, droids were made to break. And most of all, they're predictable and stupid. Okay, Ajahn. Uh, let's focus on getting to Telos for the time being. So, what happened? He's he's conti he's turned around fully now. He's turned even more. He's basically like, you know, imagine him sitting on the chair and it's just the whole back of the chair right in his face. <laughs> uh, what happened to what, Atten? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Ooh, we're actually getting asked about our lightsaber. Interesting, because we're a Jedi without one. You know, being exiled from the Jedi Order, I would assume, yeah, it was confiscated. Uh, I actually really, like, this is actually quite something interesting as well that isn't a glitch, which is nice, is our character in the middle of dialogue, instead of just standing there staring into space, you know, while we go through these questions, is he actually walks around the cockpit and starts interacting with like the screens and the monitors and checks the galaxy map that's really cool like that's immersive Atten is currently breaking that immersion but at least our character is doing a great job here by interacting with a galaxy map that he cannot currently even use so we're, we're doing great um so a lightsaber would have been helpful but it's not like it would have been you know better than my vibro sword i think my sword was pretty good um, we'll, uh, we'll give him the info, you know. My lightsaber was taken from me by the council. Oh, yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Oh, I wonder if this is locking us into a choice. That's, like, instantly my first thought, that we're getting asked a question, like, are we getting a, are we getting a lightsaber interview right now? And he's like, hey... Which lightsaber did you have? Recall it for me real quick. A single hilt or double bladed? We can't actually... There's no option to choose dual wielding. That we were two handing, uh, we were dual wielding two blades, which we're not gonna pick anyway, uh, because we did that last time. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do this time if this is a choice, and I'm going to take it as one just in case, uh, I want to go with a single hilt lightsaber for this one. Because uh, I'm pretty sure even if we do double bladed, um, I'm pretty sure that classifies with the two hand bonus because it takes us uh, takes up both weapon slots. Um, so we had a single hilt. Huh, figures. It wasn't red, was it? <laughs> Ooh, actually it was. The crystal was redder than a Ligrex eye. Interesting. Both the blade and crystal were unique. 
It has been so long I've forgotten its color. I can barely remember what it used to feel like, much less look like, and I couldn't care less if I ever remember. Interesting. I'm wondering if... Um, if we pick like the lower choices, it might not lock us into something and we can kind of choose later. I, it's hard when you feel like you might be getting a subtle decision here. Uh, well, we definitely didn't have a red lightsaber. <laughs> I'm going to say both the blade and crystal were unique. Yeah, unique how? Oh, cool. Yeah, cup. Whoa, wait a minute. Silver? Blue lightsaber, usually used by guardians. My lightsaber was green, like those of the Jedi Consulars. A yellow lightsaber, Jedi Sentinel's Blade. So those are our basic three. Violet, like hurricane gems in the sunset. Orange, like Hasak's sun. It was a Viridian Blade, one of the Jedi Order, one the Jedi Order had never seen before. And silver, like the streams in the room of a thousand fountains on Coruscant. That is so cool. Um, I'm actually not sure what the colored Viridian looks like. I'm just going to quickly have a look so I can actually get a visual on that. Viridian color. Oh, that's like a, that's like a nice colored green. It's like the, it's the color green we're currently looking at. That's cool. It's the green color for the text. Oh, that's cool. Um, it's, this is like a very similar color um kind of it's a bit darker but it's a very similar color to the very original lightsaber color uh of luke in the original star wars film before the special editions before any fixes before any of that the color of the the lightsaber was not really a blue as we've come to know it in future films it was definitely it feels like it was like in that sort of realm of a viridian color that's actually kind of cool. Um, I'd like to pick something a little more unique. That, that feels a bit more, you know, a bit cooler than me just going, oh yeah, green, because I love green lightsabers. And I do. I love a green lightsaber. I'm a simple man. Uh, Luke's green lightsaber. That's all you need in life. But for our character, we should branch out of the zone, I think. Um... I'm really tossing up between Viridian or Silver. I feel like Silver would just like kind of look like Ahsoka's lightsabers, like with those white blades, which is pretty sweet. I'm going to go with a Viridian blade, one the Jedi Order had never seen before. I'm like the more we go in this questionnaire, the more confident I am. It seems like we're currently choosing and piecing together our lightsaber in this like seemingly innocent conversation. Viridian blade, please, sir. Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those sit think twice before coming after us. I think having it would just drive them to hunt me harder. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Nice. That was a that was a cool conversation. Um Again, I've already mentioned this, but I love the the thought, the force theme that plays uh, when you gain points. All right, we're pushing ourselves up, which is cool. I'm really interested in the potential of having uh, a Viridian-colored lightsaber. I'm sure we'll get other lightsaber crystals throughout the the game. I mean, they did in the first game, so I don't have any reason to believe they wouldn't do it for the second one. But um, you know, the one that we start off with at least could be, you know our own unique color so let's have a look telos citadel station oh that's cool artificially maintained space station and there's paragus and the ebon hawk nice okay um in terms of that i guess i just go into the galaxy map choose telos and then we continue with what we're doing um let's have a look around security system that's just the camera controls. You know what's something that's really, really neat as well? Having T3 
seemingly moving around the ship just doing repairs like it it feels great instead of him just sitting in the same location all the time he's actually feels like a crew member like he's doing his repairs having a look around like that's really that's really neat <laughs> yeah and you can even ask him to stop moving around the ship uh do you know where that hk droid in the cargo bay came from influence failure okay that didn't sound very convincing. Are you sure you don't know? Why are you smoking? Okay, I had other questions for you. Interesting. He, so we need more. Of, we need a higher influence with uh, T3 to get um, some dialogue with him about HK. T3, what's wrong with the astrogation system? Another influence failure. Don't do me. Can it be repaired or not? <laughs> Just again. Okay. Can you try to work on it when you get the chance? That sounded positive. Okay. I know you can do the calculations, but we may get separated. No, I'm not planning to leave you behind, but it happens. <laughs> okay. I had some other questions for you. Um, I don't think we can do the other ones yet, so we'll just ask for a programming spike. And then uh, we'll be going now. Okay. Ah, influence gained, hey? Influence gained, hey? Enough influence to say, get some information from you? No. Okay. <laughs> Enough influence to say, proceed? No. Uh, and then I think, if we're around here... Uh, it would be nice if it marked in these areas um, where characters were. But I guess that's why we have to use the cameras. Hello, Kree. I'm going to speak to you again after we've spoken to Atten just before we go to Telos. If I were you, I would see to that fool in the cockpit. Okay, I feel like this is just the same. Okay, that's the same. Watch that one. Interesting. Well, I should watch you. You're also a bit slippery. You're both going against each other, but, you know, at least Atten doesn't have ties to the dark side. So, don't know what to make of that. Alright, galaxy map. We're going to Telos, baby! Citadel Station! Nice, dude. So this, oh, that's so cool. Classic Star Wars transition. So we go to the space station aboard the planet. Dude, does this mean we're about to see Admiral Anasi? About to get reunited with our boy? That was a cool scene. The Ebon Hawk is such a cool ship. sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion, uh-oh, here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Tilo Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. Uh, it was actually a Republic ship that did it, guys. Uh, just so you guys know. Uh, are we under arrest? You haven't been formally charged, but you will be placed under house arrest pending the results of our investigation. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. Okay. So this is going to be the situation that we're in until maybe we go, Hey, by the way, I was supposed to be on my way here before the whole shit happened. You guys don't even know. Will I be able to get my gear back? If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. 
Do you understand? Yes, I understand. <laughs> no, why are you holding us? Okay, I'll cooperate, buddy. I'm not going to make things difficult right now. Last time I ended up making light of a situation that involves security. I got sentenced to death, so I'm going to... And then kicked out to the main menu, so I think I'll cooperate. <laughs> I've learned my lessons from the first game, dude. <laughs> Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. <laughs> Do you have a bad feeling about this? Excuse me, who the fuck is that? Who the fuck's that? Who the fuck's the... Who the fuck's Silverman? Who's that? You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in Residential Module 082. Fucking Silver Surfer, dude. What, who's, who's, what's going on? Wait, I had some questions. Ray Shields. I have many matters to tend to. Your questions will have to wait. I have a right to an attorney. And these goddamn force shields. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. <laughs> Atten just being like the scene joke every time. He's like, and scene. Someone is coming. I love how so she stands up so quickly. Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. Oh, interesting. I, I love that Kreia stands up from her meditative stance. Like, so fast, all the time. So this is the last of the Jedi. <laughs> Let me out of this cage, we'll see how disappointed you are. I am, I mean, I'm not lying, I currently am no Jedi, I was exiled from the Jedi Order, I'm currently just, you know, force sensitive, I'm a force user right now, you know, I'm no Jedi. Jedi or no, you're the one I am pledged to kill, there is no mistaking that. Of course. The exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know, you're worth quite a bit of money. The exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taken the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Bro, this guy speaks a, uh, you know, pretty hefty game. Like, he's like, you know, do you even know who I am? It's like, yeah, dude, I know who you are. You are default generic male face number three, dude. Like, you are not... We're not on the same level, you and I. I am carrying that Space Jesus, Obi-Wan Kenobi realness, and you are a default male face. Do you understand? You are you can you cannot even hope to be on the same level as me, dude. So we're in a TSF station. How do you expect to get away with this? The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt, during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. Interesting. I don't wish to fight you. Easier for me then. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave him alone. You want to fight? Then try me if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken <laughs> Jedi are no match to my skills. Is he mentally, you know, strong? Can I, can I not just, you know, do a bit of the old Jedi mind trick on the old brain? Did he just free me? Good stuff. Ooh, we've got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, Ebon Hawk's IND, Telos, the Ebon Hawk, along with T3 and M4, and all your belongings have been detained for inspection and decontamination. Lieutenant Gren of the Telosian Security Force said the procedure should take no more than 30 standard hours. You have been arrested by Lieutenant Gren of the Telosian Security Force and are uh, to be held until the TSF completes its investigation. Alright, bonus mission. 
An assassin disguised as Batu Rem, a TSF officer in Citadel Station, made an attempt on your life while you were imprisoned there. It might be worth trying to find out who hired him and why. Well, I mean, we're currently dealing with that, so maybe we shouldn't be reading that. Okay. Hello, sir. Um, have you ever been, uh, had the fear of the Jedi instilled inside your mind? Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah! Go fucking... Go out and... Yeah, that's right, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's fear. Take you down to size. The security cameras are... What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, uh, who is that? Is that Batu Rem? Thank you for someone actually noticing that he was not supposed to be here. Uh, no. He was an assassin. It's a good thing I didn't have to depend on you for protection. Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. How did he manage to sneak in here? That's something we're going to have to look into. I can tell you that it can't have been easy. What's going to happen now? We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Nice. Okay, great. Another investigation. Officer, let Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. Bruh, he literally was just like, alright, deactivate all the four shields of, you know, <laughs> he really underestimated that trio. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? <laughs> Interesting. How long will I be here? I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragus facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. My clothes are better than the mining outfit. That's nice. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. Why do we need to leave? What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragus? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. What do you think, Kriya? We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Okay. Kriya, let me know if you need a hand. Oh. Oh. Okay, that, that was quick. Uh, meditation has been uh, has been interrupted. We're we're getting a phone call. Look at our lovely plant life. Looks like it's kind of dying, but that's that's fine. Hello. Accept the call. Uh, Soka Linu, TSF officer. Excuse me, you have a caller, Moza, representing the Athorian Planet Restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him. If you'd like to speak with him. But but why? 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 <laughs> this is uh, this was so odd. We've been we're under investigation right now. We've been arrested, we're under house arrest, uh, and some Ithorian specialist comes in. He's like, oh, "What? What's up? What does he want?" He says he wishes to speak with you on behalf of Chodo Habat. That's all he will say. I don't know any of these people. Fine, send him in. Very well. I'll let him in now. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for seeing me. I am Moza, and I have come to see you on behalf of Chodo Habat, our leader here. Okay... What is this about? Are you familiar with the restoration project on Telos? Bruh, no. I, I just got here. Could you explain it to me? 
The surface of Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War a few years ago. This Citadel Station... Text is moving too fast. Citadel Station uses energy shield to seal off portions of the planet's surface, then generates and controls the weather patterns. Once the weather is a zone in, is stabilized, new animal and plant life is introduced to restore the ecosystem. Recently, however, we have run into contention with the corporation... I'm fucking up all my words. I'm fucking up all my words because it's making me panic. Read it faster. <laughs> The subtitles move so much faster than the first game, dude. <laughs> I'm like literally reading it at a norm at my standard pace and it's moving into the next one. I'm like, God damn it. I don't even know how to read words anymore. It's like when you're being rushed to read a script for the very first time. Uh, it's, it's not gonna it's not gonna work. Right, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna speed up my alien language subtitle reading. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna just miss out on everything. Uh, they've run into contention with the with the corporation known as Zerka. Perhaps you have heard of our recent troubles. No, what troubles have you had? All right, <gasps> prepare to speak faster. <laughs> Ithorians are well known as ecologists and agricultural engineers. The Telusian government asked those of my herd to help restore their planet. Things went smoothly at first. The Republic funded us generously, hoping Telos would be a model for the restoration of planets damaged by the war. The funding enabled us to purchase flora and fauna from Ondera, and upgrades to Citadel Station's shield network have allowed us to purify and reseed small portions of the surface. Then the troubles began. Republic relations with Onderon began to deteriorate, increasing the purchase and transport costs of our biological materials. And as the station grew, the Telusian security force was no longer large enough to police the entire station. Zerka approached the Republic and offered supply and security contracts. Their paramilitary security division now polices blah blah. Zerka has integrated themselves into the Telusian political system and economy. They're currently pressing blah blah. Their effects hinder our cause greatly and will have terrible consequences for the planet its restoration. In the first game, I used to be able to read the subtitles and actually press a button to skip the alien dialogue to the next line. I am running, I am sprinting my words here to try and get through. Uh, is, I do apologize for the text that I am missing to read here. It is just unfortunately going too damn fast. I am trying. It's like, it's very, it's very noticeable how much faster it is than the first one. And I feel like that was probably intentional because the first game actually, you know, Kashi, you don't want an Indian Bobo forever, you know, and the alien language worms its way into your brain. Um, however, uh, it just means I'm going to have to try and read really, really fast. And imagine what I have to do, right? I have to read this really quickly. While I have an Ithorian language, like, drilling into my ears as a distraction to try and focus on reading words. So if I make any mistakes, I do apologize. <laughs> so how is Zerka harming the restoration project? Zerka recently wrested control of a number of restoration zones on the planet's surface from us. These zones began to deteriorate within weeks. If this continues, the restoration process will be brought to a halt, and the Republic will not be willing to continue the funding needed to resurrect it. Telos will remain dead forever. Why would why would Zerka do this? I wonder that myself. What does one of the largest weapons manufacturers in the galaxy want with planet restoration contracts? Perhaps they seek unrestricted access to Telos's surface, which is normally forbidden. Even we can land at our established landing sites. Okay. I used to be able to like put on some voices sometimes for aliens as well. I'm not going to be able to have time to even think about a voice because I'm too busy trying to make sure I can get through this dialogue. <laughs> How do they take the restoration zones? Why is this a conversation we're having? I'm so confused about your your presence right now, sir. Like, how do you even know that I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> Through a combination of legal loopholes, purchase political favors, strong arm tactics, and sabotage. We Ithorians are simply not prepared to deal with such. We are a passive people. We wish only to help restore the natural beauty of Telos. Okay, so I'm assuming this is like a side quest that is obviously in relation to restoring Telos from the Jedi Civil War, which is great. Um, not sure why Ithorian is coming to come check in on us like immediately. It kind of makes the, the the pacing feel a little bit strange but we'll 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 roll with it we're just we're just allowed any and all visitors um apparently while we get you know while we're under investigation for blowing up a whole mining colony <laughs> so how could i help 
Chodo Hobart is a powerful priest, our spiritual leader. He sent something upon your arrival, a disturbance, an echo in the force. Chodo's force sensitive. Chodo felt you might be able to aid us. He bid me to tell you uh, that if you could help heal Telos, it may be possible for him to heal you. Interesting. Chodo's force sensitive. Heal me. I am unclear as to what Chodo means by this. He says the echo he felt upon your arrival suggests that you yourself are damaged. He can feel the pain through the force. Perhaps Chodo Habat should turn his eyes to his own people, if they truly suffer so. Forgive me, I am unclear as to Chodo's message, and I may have related it incorrectly. If this offer of mutual aid interests you, please go to the Ithorian compound here in Residential 082 when you are able. Chodo Habat would be most pleased to see you. Okay, I'll speak with your leader when I'm freed. Ah, uh, this pleases me. Perhaps we will speak later then. Farewell. Okay, that was our tutorial on how to try and read the alien subtitles real quick. That was a disaster. Now, perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Okay, we'll see. Let's go back to sitting down and meditating, apparently. Resting. Okay. <laughs> Goddamn. Oh, no. Uh, never mind. I've, I've got another phone call here. Hey, it's... Uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's... It's Jack's Rabbit, and he's coming in to fucking clean your shoes and tell you about our Lord and Savior, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, from B4D4, the Zerka Corporation. Oh, no. Now Zerka, Zerka's found out it's okay let's accept the call good day i am b4d4 administrative assistant for zirka corporation's citadel station branch i am attempting to connect you with executive officer jana lorso may i put you through Fucking, we're a celebrity aren't we bro yes go ahead what does she want i am sorry but i do not know i am only her administrative assistant may i put you through yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. I will connect you now. Good day. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am John Aluso. Uh, yeah, why, why are you calling? I was sleeping. I understand that you were approached by Nathorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Bruh, I knew that it was going to be like, we just get a call. Oh, now here's the other option. Will you choose the good side or the bad side? About restoring Telos. I don't recall him threatening me. Oh, and I suppose he didn't mention the exchange. Helping you with any problems here? In other words, the Athorians won't lead the exchange to you if you work with them. Uh, they literally didn't say that. You are putting words in the Ithorian's mouth. Lady, he didn't mention anything like that. Well, no matter. My apologies. I never intended to waste your time discussing Athorians. Okay, go on. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. Okay, uh... How are Thorians in the way of things? Their plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred natural beauty of Telos, they say. Just what does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? The proper planning of urban sectors? Resorts and tourism. It doesn't. The Athorians are spending billions of Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, they'll drive the Republic into irreparable debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. Uh, what sort of work are we talking about here? I'd rather discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. Yeah, I'm not interested, bro. That's too bad. Well, you know where we are if you change your mind. Citadel Station is at a crossroads right now, you know. And so are you. Don't take the wrong road. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Bro, I've been trying to sleep for, like, hours now. I'm having, like, this very interrupted 
sleep. People are bugging me as if I'm the chosen one to restore Telos right now, and it all hinges on me, a guy who's under investigation for, like, you know, widespread ruin and destruction. But sure, I'm going to go back to bed, and then hopefully no one else bothers me. <laughs> oh my god, undisturbed sleep? Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If he served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. He has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that he turned away from war, did all that he could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do him a disservice by not speaking of this while he is present. Interesting conversation. That was cool. I've come to inform you that the Telosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. Okay, is the Republic sending a ship with a certain Admiral Anasi on board then, or uh, or what? Um, why is the Republic sending a ship? Because, I mean, we got our own, bro. To further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. How long will I have to stay? The sojourn is already en route, likely sojourn. not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. Okay, the sojourn. Is the Eppin Hawk still impounded? The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Eppin Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. Okay, what about my T3 droid? After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Paperwork, yeah, okay, they, they, they just backing out of the room. <laughs> Slowly back out of the room. We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Bro, you just want to go to the red light district. You know that from experience? Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something. You know, it's no big deal. He's desperate to leave. Why do we need to leave? Look, this place is a waste. If Telos wasn't doomed before Paragus blew, it is now. Even more so if your friends from Paragus come calling. Why would Telos be doomed? Because it depends on Citadel Station, and the Citadel depends on Paragian fuel and the Republic Senators. The Citadel's fuel source went up with the mining facility, and the bickering Senators? Huh. <laughs> Not something worth counting on. What do you think, Kriya? It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? All right, um... Stay or explore Telos. We need a ship. Let's find the Evan Hawk. Why don't we ask the Republic for help against the Sith? Aha, <laughs> fat chance. Other Jedi. Should see if we can find anything out here. All right. Stay or explore Telos. We need a ship. Let's find the Evan Hawk. Makes sense. I'll follow your lead. Alrighty. Let's have a look. An assassin disguised as Basu Rem. Oh, yeah. It might be worth trying to find out who hired him. Right. The caller. 
and Zerka calling, two phone calls. Moza, representing the Ithorian planet, restoration interest on Telos, wants you to come to the Ithorian compound, and Zerka to do the opposite. Uh, Ebonhawk's I and D, you've got to fill out paperwork, which is awesome. We want T3, you've got to fill out paperwork, which is awesome. <laughs> Let's level up our characters. So, um, Atten can level up. We can give him a new attribute. Now, yeah, let's get that constitution up to a, up to a plus three. Let's do that. Skills. Uh, I'm going to bump up that demolitions, that awareness, that security, and that's and that awareness. Yeah. And feats. He's got fighting spirit. Now, let's have a look. What should I give to you? Maybe toughness, to be honest. Or maybe I could upgrade the... What is it? Maybe I should upgrade his sniper shot to a better one. Triples the critical threat range. Roll of 20, a critical hit result on 18 to 20. Because that might help from a, from a distance if I give him one of those. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to give you improved sniper shot, my guy. Now, accept. Korea's turn. Ooh, hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, you, you're teetering a bit lower down there, aren't you? Uh, your skills. Treat injury. Awareness. I guess we'll give you some... Uh, I don't know why you'd need repair, though. We'll just give you stealth. And powers. Remaining powers, one. Okay. Drain force. Force? Yeah, the force scream. You want to rock that force scream? A wave of sound is 3 to 18 points of sonic damage, potentially. Uh, stunning. Some droid. Wound. Actually, I might. I could go for wound. That would be pretty sick. Um, I need to remove that power because I actually clicked on it. Let's do wound. Let's give you. Let's give you that. So we just add your dark side powers because you're a, the, the class of a Jedi Consular, interestingly enough. Another level. Another level. I'll take it. Um, ooh. Get even more points if we put your wisdom at 18. Yeah, I'll do that. Bump up that wisdom, dude. Uh, skills, once again. Bump those bad boys up. Now, powers. Another remaining power. Number two. Uh, you need to be level nine before you can do choke. Drain force. Drain raw force energy from a single opponent. Lose ten force points. Yeah, might go for drain force. Considering you're going to be a force, you're going to be using quite this, the cool force powers. We'll give you the ability to drain... Drain the force as well. Why the hell not, dude? Okay. Now, let me have a look at my situation here. What do I got? I got clothing. And that is it, because I need to get my stuff back. So, uh, cannot use anything on the communications console. Check that view out. Check this miserable plant out. Let's move out of apartment C3 and have a look around. So, Looks like we're on Telos for a couple of days while this ship comes through, but we can also get, you know, make sure that we sort out the Ebon Hawk. Ooh, hello. And uh, T3. Let's actually have a chat to our characters now. I don't know if there is any dialogue to be, uh, to get from speaking to them passively, but we will chat to them anyway. You seem pretty calm. It's almost streaming off of you. A lot calmer than you were on Paragus when I first met you. Uh, I'm fine. In fact, I haven't felt this good in a long time. It's because I got the force on my side now. Well, it's good to see. You're a nice counterbalance to that old witch back there. Uh, she is uh, right next to us, dude. <laughs> let's play Pazark. I don't even have a deck of cards, dude. I love that that's the next thing, which is like, let's play Pazark. I had some questions for you. All right. What did you want to know? <laughs> <sighs> the option. Let's play Bazaar. I had some questions for you. Oh, cool. What do you want to know? Can you teach me how to play Bazaar or let's play Bazaar? <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. <sighs> Actually, maybe he can give me some cards if I ask him to teach me. 
because I don't have any cards. Something up. Something up. Uh, I love how... Okay, now we literally have... Can you teach me to play? Let's play Bazaar. What if we pick... I had some questions for you now. All right. What did you want to know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a stupid sub-menu. Uh, can you teach me to play? All right, but I'm out of credits. So it's Republic Senate rules. Okay, Republic Senate rules. That's where we waste a lot of time trading cards and trying to beat each other. But in the end, nobody wins. Everybody loses, and nobody accomplishes anything. It's like stalemate, except the goal is to pass time until the audience gets bored and leaves. Uh, okay. Can you go over the rules first? Sure. Shouldn't be a problem. It's basically... I'm assuming it plays the same as the first game. The rules for Bazaar will show up in your completed quests section whenever you need to access it. Before, oh, I have cards, apparently. Okay, before each Prezark match, you must select ten cards to form your side deck. Basic. I know, uh, yeah. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Because I've done this before. I know, I, I know how Prezark... I'm actually the best Prezark player in the Outer Rim, dude. So, don't mess with me. I actually think that... Yeah, you know, okay. We, I, I can't count. I already have ten cards. But I don't know why I was picking them so meticulously as if I had more than ten to choose from. Okay, the object in the game is, uh, yeah, you gotta get 20, dude. Alright, we do have a difference in UI, though. So, the first player draws the card, and now I can choose to, um... I, I just end my turn, right? And then, standing is the one I want to do when I'm ready to, to leave it. End turn. Same rules, there you go. 14, end turn. I'm at 21, so if I'll do minus 2, and then I will stand. That's what winners are all about, baby. Match continues into one player is won three sets. Straight Pazark. When you select end turn, you will automatically draw another card at the start of your next turn. Remember, if your cards total more than 20, you will bust. I know that. I know that. Bro, why wouldn't it let me end my turn? Dude, I... N when you select end turn, you will automatically draw another card at the start of your next turn. I, I know. Why is it doing this to me right now? It's not letting me end my turn. I'm willfully trying to gamble getting a card that might be three or less, and then I can just use minus four if I go over, but it won't let me. Okay, for some reason it won't let me, so I'll just stand and then I'll lose the set then, because it won't let me end the turn. What the fucking... Okay, man. Fucking scripted tutorial segment. I want to win the tutorial. <laughs> I'm playing a win, baby. Well, I could use plus four here, get 19, and then in my turn. Okay, it's it's so bugged. It's not letting me end. The, okay, fuck's sake, bro. Oh no, hang on. I need to stand. <laughs> it's not bugged. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, the set is tied. For a second there, I was like, why can't I proceed? I'm getting, I'm confusing myself now. Forgive me being an idiot. Oh. Oh. Aha, we can tie. Aha. Well, now I only have minus four, so now we're in. He's still got four, three cards left. I'm in trouble. Damn it, bro. I'm gonna lose. Oh, the set is tied again. <laughs> well, I've got no cards left in my hand. So now we just... Oh. Dick. Well, that's... Alright, come on, baby. I can get a four. Oh, why won't the game let me do it, man? May as well just forfeit, because I'm just gonna lose. I can't even win the tutorial, dude. 
I'm sure it's possible to win the tutorial. Oh, fucking alright. I'm gonna lose. I know how the AI plays these games, dude. Yep, yeah, I know how the AI plays Bazaar. <laughs> Alright, bro. Right. I, I'm so glad that none of you were watching then. That scene didn't... That segment of the, the episode didn't happen. <laughs> uh, guys, I can't believe we won that game for Zark. That was cool when we when we won. Yes. Have you come with questions? Always. I want you to teach me more about the Force. Very well. What is it that drives you? Uh, ooh, I want to build a lightsaber, dude. Okay. Uh, this bond we share, I would know more about it. I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong, and its roots run deep. It seems that at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. What about when we fight on our journey? When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragas. My big question here is we... Uh, our character is not like, so, Kreia, you got your hand cut off. Uh, what happened? You know, how'd you survive? Get away. Were you pursued by him? Did you have a conversation? Did you catch up? You know, what happened? You know, you lost your hand. <laughs> We're just more so just like, hey, Atten, I want to know about Pazark. <laughs> um, does this bond have any advantages? It seems the force flows easily between us. Right, I remember her saying this. When uh, the force chain ability, a right? A powerful technique, indeed. Okay. Um, Very well. I want to build a lightsaber. Indeed. A Jedi tool and a Sith weapon. And why do you need such a thing? Because <laughs> I feel naked without it. Interesting. Now, you know, it's it's very... We're, we're, in a, we're in a bit of an interesting spot for our character. Because uh, obviously our character, you know, that conversation with Kriya and Atten was very cool. About talking about how we're a character that was exiled from the Jedi Order. And we, you know, turned our back on everything. And we wanted to distance ourselves from everything. Um, we are now weak because of it. Which is a great starting point for a game when you start off at like a low level. You need to work yourself back up again. It just works out really well. Um, but then we're coming back into the fold. And we're like... I mean, willingly, question mark? I mean, do, do we want to be here? We just kind of got picked up by a Republic ship, and then we're kind of piecing this thing together ourselves, you know? So I'm trying to make sense of how my character would be wanting to go about this stuff. I don't feel like he'd be willing to, you know, brandish a lightsaber and be swinging it about like being a Jedi hero. You know what I mean? Maybe, like, he's accepting that he wants to get back into, uh, you know, or he just... He, he wants it because it feels like, you know, maybe the Force is pushing him in that direction once again as we slowly rekindle our Force powers. So I might go for the uh, defending you and my allies. Then listen to me. There is much weight, much craving attached to such a tiny thing of light. For the male, it seems to have an inordinate importance. But we shall leave such male preoccupations for philosophers and cultural historians. A lightsaber... Any weapon only achieves worth in how it is wielded, in the effort, in the struggle of one who holds it. Such a weapon does not make a Jedi or a Sith, and at times it makes them much, much less than they are. Okay, but how do I make one? The knowledge has already been imparted to you. Upon our journey, the pieces shall fall into place. Okay. Very well. Can you teach me any lightsaber forms? I'm assuming this would come once I get a lightsaber. The Jedi practice many forms, many styles of lightsaber combat. It is good to know them, but not to rely on them. You may have already felt the Shicho, the simplest of the forms return to you as your skill and perceptions have returned. Others may come with time, with experience. Can we switch lightsaber forms? Like to affect our combat style because if so that's really really cool i know that like i don't know my i don't know my saber forms you know 
I'm not that deep. I know there's, you know, you got your form seven, you got your, you got your figure eight. <laughs> you know, uh, I know that Mace Windu uses uh, Vapard uh, or something, something along those lines that you know drains darkness. He absorbs darkness from his enemies and then uses it against them. Obviously, we are in that sort of. We get into that territory of uh, lightsaber forms being canon, non-canon, legends, whatever, because uh, everything kind of gets, you know, thrown out some sort of window when we when we talk about canon and whatnot. But it doesn't really matter right now because we're not even playing. We're we're playing a game that is very ambiguous with its canon status. It doesn't affect any established canon, and it can kind of operate as such. Um, but lightsaber forms are very cool and interesting i like that you know they have like you know obi-wan was a master of this form which is a very defensive one and anakin being a very offensive one and therefore when they fight each other it's very cool at how they you know how they clash and and stuff like that and then obviously count dooku being the the very experienced duelist that he is is very cool as well with you know yeah lightsaber forms is like a you'd think it's like a given because it's a sword fighting you need you need your sword fighting techniques Especially mixed in with force powers, it's quite cool. Very well. Um, I wish to know more about the force forms. I've never heard of the force forms before. Very well. Of which did you wish instruction? I can't pick anything. I, I can't pick anything new. I'm noticing a weird trend with the dialogue trees that some of them lead to dead ends as if they probably shouldn't even be available to me yet. I don't know. It's a bit bit strange. Ask, and I will answer. Do you know anything about the Sith who pursue us? Thank you. I can ask about that. You you did encounter him, right? You know, you, on account of your hand and everything? Nothing more than we already know. And anything else I know would be useless. Oh, yeah. There is danger in such knowledge. Even if I was certain of the ones who hunt you. There is danger in such knowledge. Well, that is a truth. That is a truth. But the, our influence is not high enough to get that dialogue. And so I have to work on my influence with each character to get more out of them. While also really needing to sort of make that headway into my alignment as well as a, as a character. It's, uh, so I can make get the most out of it, you know? Ask, and I will... Uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, light side points gained, however. Telusian. And, you guessed it, Telusian. Eh. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand and they're too much for the TSF to handle. We need Republic troops to restore order. Okay. The war has really inflated prices here in the Outer Rim. Medical supplies are in short supply and high demand. Good to know. Okay, now we'll go into apartment C1. That is locked. Uh, that's not a thing that we can go into. Apartment complex C. Okay, out we go. Just a bunch of Telusians hanging around. The war has really inflated prices here. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand and they're too much for the TSF okay, to Okay, apartment hurt. complex B. We need public troops to restore order. So many, so many apartments. All the Telusians have very similar fashion sense. That's locked. That's open. Oh, hello. Whoa. Oh, I forgot to read that out loud. <laughs> I forgot to read that out loud, so I just, I just let that one go. He has a contract with Zerka. He's apparently doing work. And then he's like, yeah, hang on, you're not from the exchange. What do you want? Uh, what does the exchange want with you? Nothing! Nothing at all. Do you need a droid repaired? Because if not, I have much work to do. I've got a droid smith. Do you sell droid parts? Yes, I do. Manachuga? Oh, God, man, that's a... That's a... I feel like the, the the inventory system in this game is quite quite overwhelming, dude. When you go into like all and it, there's so much, especially when you get to like the lab stations and the workbenches of how much you can create and make, and you're like looking at everything, and I'm like, oh, ah, my pea brain. So many, so many things. Uh, how much for this? How much for this lovely 
gentleman. How much for your gonk? Opo Chano. Okay. Opo Chano. We've got a workshop there. Hopefully no one sees me try and lockpick my way into this door. It's impossible. Ha ha! Let's fucking attack this door. <laughs> We're just gonna break into this apartment real quick. Yeah. Uh, you guys just you just keep talking. I'm just gonna I'm practicing karate. Practicing my my fist forms. You guys saw nothing. I'm getting in. Nice. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, guys. Well, alright. Nobody saw nothing. <laughs> well, busted down that door, didn't I? I, re I really showed that door. Who's boss? Apartment complex A. Okay. Apartment A3. It's an interesting one. Okay. Foot locker, there we go. Finally, some some food, dude. Credits and a repair kit. Been looking around for just something. A crumb of anything, dude. Nice. Alright. Time to loot some apartments, dude. Just as a Hey! What are you doing in my apartment? I should have expected this. I was literally about to make a joke about this happening, and it happened in real time. I was like, man, we're just, just as a very, you know, uh, respectable Jedi would do is looting apartments. I actually love that this is a thing that has just happened. Uh, just looking around. Looked like you were doing more than just looking. Uh, look, man. Sorry, uh, I just figured, you know, you know, I have a beard, you have a beard, as two respectable facial hair aficionados, we could uh, f sweep this one under the beard, per se, and move on. Figured what? You just break into my apartment and take everything I own? Are you crazy? Uh, look, when you put it that way... Yeah, I thought so. Get out of here before I get the TSF. Okay, I'll be going now. Thank you. Thank you, Chalusian. You've, uh, you've done me a great service this day. You again? Did you not learn your lesson the first time? Get out of here! Alright, I just... Uh, that's not gonna stop me from breaking into apartments, though. <gasps> Hara. Okay. I'm gonna get that sweet Huttese language. You ready? I can't wait. Now, I think the shortcut is if I press F4... It quick saves. Just gonna double check that. Okay, F4 quick saves. I want. I'm gonna try and get into the habit of quick saving. Imagine if that was accidentally quick loading. I would probably cry. All right, Hara. New voice. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> we got new Twi'lek voice unlocked. Okay, they've moved on from the memes of the original. Who are you? My name is Hara. I'm an employee of Zerka Corporation. Uh, what do you do here? I'm a data processor. It is a thankless job and the pay is poor, but I have no choice but to take it. I have desperate need of credits and there is little else for me to do. That or gamble, but this is what got me into this predicament in the first place. They really just went, hey, you know how every single Twi'lek in the first game was green? Except for a couple? Let's, let's just keep that energy up. <laughs> if they do the same thing in every Twi'lek, like, for the most part, this game is green again. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> it feels like it wouldn't be that hard to do, like, uh, just, like, some color palette swaps to at least keep some, you know, sort of variety. But, I mean, I'm not too hopeful considering every, every NPC we've encountered in the hallways of the apartments right now has been the same two character models. <laughs> Uh, what is this predicament? I, I used Romana, the girl of my heart, as collateral. I have a weakness for Pazark, you must understand. My hand was unbeatable, there was no way I could lose. Uh, yeah, but you did. But you did. Indeed, I did. And now Romana is indentured as a dancer to dote on Het. No doubt she hates me. Another... another dancing side quest? Another dancing side quest? Of course, you did make her a slave. 
That is why I'm, I am working day and night selling my own life to Zerka that I might buy her back from Dotan. But it will take months, maybe years, for me to amass those credits. Dotan could take her away from here. Um, perhaps I could be of assistance. You would do that for a stranger? Like I said, the amount is not small. Dotan Head demands 2,000 credits for her freedom. Uh, what will you give me to intercede on your behalf? I would have little to give you. I would give you all the credits I have saved, but that is hardly enough. You would have my word. I would repay you for your kindness. I'll see what I can do. I think I can persuade Doton to see things our way. You will release the girl. Truly, then I wish you good luck, for no amount of pleading, begging, or otherwise has worked for me. Okay, journal entry added. Hara has told you about Romana, a Twi'lek owned by Doton Het, who dances in the cantina. He wagered her in a Pazark game and lost, and is trying to get her back. Maybe we can also win her life and her freedom back in a Pazark game. Considering the quest is called High Stakes. Shuttle Bay Elevator, so that'll take us out of here. It's good that Zerka's arrival has created new jobs on the station, but I can't say I'm happy about all the them. What's up, gang? Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand, and they're too much for the TSF. The war has really inflated. The war has really inflated prices. I heard that a crime syndicate has worked its way into the operation of Citadel Station. Zerka officers. Haha, <laughs> that's where they want us. That's where that Zerka lady wants me to go. Um, Bumani Exchange Corps. Exchange the. You have no business with the exchange. Get out of here. Oh, open that door, you're dead? Sheesh! I'm just gonna say I'll be going now. I'll, I'll get in here, in some way, shape, or form. I mean, it has to do with the exchange, but maybe not in a way that's going to incite violence right now when I don't even have a weapon. It just doesn't seem, does, doesn't seem smart. Uh, residential module 82 West. Is that where we're supposed to be going? Travel, visit TFF station and entertainment module 081. Okay, let's go this way. Before we go through the shuttle bay. Okay. What are you yelling at? Is this like a it's a wall? The war is really inflated prices here in the outer. You're just ring. yelling at yourself because of the prices? The war is yep. really oh man, the war the is ring. really medical supply. Yeah, those prices. Yeah, you fist pump that wall. The war is really Oh yeah, the war has really inf inflated prices here Medical in the outer room, dude. In short supply. Hello. Onderon Diplomat. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stop talking to those NPCs real fast, considering that there's not a lot of unique dialogue in the game. Seemingly coming from those. Hello there, and greetings from Isis and Onderon. Hello there. Who are you? I'm a diplomat from Queen Talia on Onderon. My stay was supposed to have been shorter. But the contract disputes over the restoration project have prolonged it. Why are you here? The Athorians negotiated the export of flora and fauna from Onderon, but with their disagreements with Zerka, the status of our arrangement is in the air. Okay. I'm a diplomat. The I can't proceed any further, so I'll be going now. Uh, see ya, bud. I guess maybe we'll have more to say on that later. I, I literally can't even help him if I tried. A lab station? Nice. Communications terminal. New incoming calls. Got a terminal over here. Terminal. Open medical supplies container. S computer. Slice authentication codes. Unlocked. Nice. I don't even think I needed to use a computer spike for that. Didn't mention having to. One med pack, please. Is that worth going to jail for? Not really, but we are living life on the edge right now. No one else is in here. Alright, under on diplomat. I'll be back a few later, I suppose. The war is really inflated prices. Has it now? The war is Has it now? Wow, I just fool that. Room. Yep. <laughs> Ithorian compound, okay. This is the Ithorian compound for restoration project. You practicing your moonwalking. How lovely. Damn, these NPCs are just... they're crazy, dude. They're just, got, they're just in a mind of their own. Alright, uh, information terminal. Main menu. 
Oh. Level information. Download area map. Nice. Transit to another module. Please search a new destination. What? I can't. Okay, log out. Getting a lot of weird... Okay, map. Okay, so that is Ithorian compound. Let's go into the Ithorian compound, I guess, because it relates to this whole... This whole restoration thing. Uh, Moza sent me to speak with Chodo Habat. Ah, you are the Jedi Moza spoke of. I will open the doors for you now and inform Chodo Habat of your arrival. He will be pleased to see you. Nice. Um, the alien languages that we've heard so far from our, you know, different groups, actually quite easy on the ears, which is which is very nice. I'm not getting any ones that feel. I mean, it's early days yet, but I'm not getting any that stand out as very like repetitive and memey. So we'll see. It's feeling pretty good so far. Damn, my Thorian gang, rise up! Here they all are. That is a plant, not an Ithorian. Where's our named one? They're all just... Ithorian. This guy. Yeah, nice. Moza and... Chodobat. Nice. And an Ithorian computer. You guys don't mind if I use this, right? Wildlife statistics for the restoration project. Okay. Hello again, Chris Blythe. How may I be of service? Uh, what do you do here? I serve primarily as Chodo's assistant. My duties became even more time-consuming after the loss of our original droid intelligence. I am also a Herd's representative when it comes to matters concerning the Talusian Council, Republic representatives, among others. I actually feel like maybe it's just the Ithorians that just their dialect moves really quickly. Uh, what will you do when your project is completed? It is hard for me to even think that far into the future. I believe that this will consume many of the next years of my life. It is our hope, however, that our restoration of the planet will convince the Republic Senate to allow other herds to see some of the other war-torn planets of the Outer Rim. Perhaps I would even be placed in charge of a planet of my own, but that is getting quite far ahead of myself. For now, I am occupied completely with Telos. Okay. Chodo, what's up? Now, are you a Force-sensitive Ithorian? Ah, it gladdens me that you came. I am Chodo Habat, leader of the Ithorians here. I'm sorry to impose our troubles upon you, but I did not know where to turn until I sensed your arrival. You sensed my arrival? Yes, I am a priest of my people, an adept in the Force. I sensed an echo within the Force upon your arrival. It is a subtle disturbance unless one is actively listening for it. I suspected you were one of the remaining Jedi in hopes you could help us. That is why I sent Moza to seek you out. Moza said you could heal me. What does he mean? The echo I felt upon your arrival was not a natural thing. It spoke of a great pain, not of the body, but of the spirit. It is as if, once you felt the force flow through you, then it was torn away, brutally and quickly. The echo comes from the hollows where it once flowed through you. That's cool. I once felt the force, yes, and it is slowly returning. It is a most unusual wound you carry. If you would permit me to examine you, perhaps I could help restore some of what was Your lost. Your speech is filled with maybes, and perhaps. You are bold to make promises of healing while the world under your care burns and dies. You may be able to help, but there is always a price, is there not? Do not mistake me, it is not our desire to see any living thing suffer, but the suffering of Telos is all that consumes us. Tell me, do you know of the problems our restoration efforts face? Uh, I'd like to hear your perspective on the matter. The Telosian government summoned my herd ship to Citadel Station and asked if we helped them rebuild their broken world. We progressed for a time, but then our troubles with Zerka began. The corporation has gained great influence here, and we can do little to stop them. I fear that if Zerka continues to interfere in the restoration project, it will never be completed. Telos will remain barren and lifeless, and all our work, that of the Republic, the Telosians, and my own people, will have been for nothing. Okay. Why would the Chalusian government allow this to happen? Zerka is a powerful corporation with many lobbyists in the Senate and throughout the galaxy. What do you intend to do? Our first goal is to get the restoration project moving forward again. The Republic originally provided a droid intelligence to the Citadel Station that would help manage the logistics of the project. It vanished some time ago. 
Okay, vanished, how? That is not known, it may have been an accident. Perhaps the droid intelligence was overtaxed by the staggering size of the project and became irrational. Some among my herd suspect theft. A droid intelligence of that sophistication would fetch a high price on the black market. At great expense, my herd has acquired a second, somewhat lesser droid intelligence to take its place. It will arrive at Citadel Station shortly. The Chilean government has offered a small escort, but I had hoped you might be able to see its safe transition from the docks to here. Might you aid us in this matter? Yes, I'll see it to you safely. My thanks, I will send word to my people. They've been waiting for your arrival at Bay 2, Dock Module 126. I'll return with the droid intelligence. Nice, okay, so we're helping out the Ithorians. Restoration droid. So we'll go to Dock Module 126 and uh, help bring a droid over here and we'll probably get attacked on the way because that's how the video game works. <laughs> So maybe we should wait until we fill out the paperwork and we'll get our weapons and stuff back before we start engaging in something that could, uh, you know, get us in trouble. Uh, Vivarium. Ooh, okay. A Chani plant. What's going on here? Welcome to the Restoration Project's Vivarium. What do you do here? I monitor the growth of the plant specimens collected here. Each of the specimens for our species found on the planet's surface are represented here. It is important that we observe growth patterns in a controlled environment before large areas are transplanted. I'll be going now. Is this one shielded? This appears to be a Bichani plant, one of many specimens the Arthurians are monitoring for the restoration project. Leave it alone. It is shielded. I'm gonna take a, you know, wild, wild guess and say that the Zerka would want us to, like, sabotage that console and destroy the plant or something. <laughs> Just a wild guess. Oh. Forgive me, Chodo, but the human, I could feel his suffering. I did not feel it until he stood before us, then it filled my senses. Have you ever felt such an intensity before? Only once before, the day I came to Telos and strode upon its ashen surface. It is a planet's worth of pain. I do not know how he endures. It is because he has no choice. Perhaps in helping to heal a planet, it will help him become whole again. Wow, okay, that was an unexpected follow-up there to that, uh, to that conversation. A Force-sensitive Ithorian priest is a very interesting concept. Alright, let us... We're not going to go to the exchange yet. I'm assuming we'll find our way in there at some point. There's an Ithorian in front of the Zerker offices now, and I don't think he was there before. <laughs> And where's this? Nothing? Okay. Let us go to the Entertainment Module 081. Time to go fill out some paperwork, I guess. TSF officer. A Republic ship was supposed to have arrived to take control of the situation here. I hope it's not too late. The problems are becoming too much for the TSF to handle. Sealed module door. Sealed, so as uh, as advertised, you know. We're going this way. Can I just totally walk off the edge here? <laughs> Imagine that, just like, just no barriers, just straight off the edge we go. Merchant. Hello there. Dendis Dobo. Greetings, my name is Dendis, and if you wish to purchase or sell goods, you have come to the right place. Avoid dealing with my brother Samhan, he is unscrupulous and deceitful. <laughs> I heard that, you mince! <laughs> Hear what you like, ruffian, I do not care. Do you see how he is? Disgusting. <laughs> they have their opposite shops on the other side of the shelves. It's like, I heard that, you swine! Just let me shop. Oh wow, hello. Um, so much stuff, dude. Um, especially considering it costs like 10,000, but this is cool. We can see that. Where where do you get this shit? Where do you got Padawan robes, huh? 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 
Zhao Shei Neophyte Armor. Zhao Shei Neophytes have begun their lifelong quest to understand the nature of the Force. Their light armor carries with it an aura of dignity and competence. The Zhao Shei concentrate an intellectual study of the Force, seeking to understand it at a mental level rather than a spiritual one. Zhao Shei are typically exceptional diplomats, but are less successful in physical pursuits. Okay, Bothan Alloy. Oh, sorry, Bothan? Where did I get Bothan from? Sith Battle Suit. Bonadan, Mandalorian Battle Armor, Dura Steel, Sith Tremor Sword. There's a lightsaber crystal there. You got a lightsaber crystal just chilling out here. Interesting. The Sith Mask, the Dusk Scar Hunting Mask, Consciousness Helm. Interesting. Vibration Cell. Okay, what does uh, your other f unscrupulous friend have over here? And there's a workbench. Welcome, you made the right decision coming to me instead of my brother Dendus. He has not quite grasped the ebb and flow of being a merchant. Nonsense, I simply have principles. <laughs> this is what I was referring to. Just let me shop, please. Uh, so you also have same stuff. There's the silver crystal. A silvery light. That's cool. Okay, so they do sell a lot of stuff, and then if we go to our workbench, we don't currently have anything in our inventory, so there is no point in looking at a workbench. I've gone the wrong way. Please, I don't want any trouble. It was an accident, I swear. That didn't look like an accident to me or my associate here. It looked like you wanted to make a fool of him. No, no, that wasn't the way it was. I did not mean to disturb your drinking. Allow me to leave you and go on my way. I will trouble you no longer. Not even an apology. That won't do at all. What's going on here? This Sulliston here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well. We're just trying to work out our differences. Uh, I'd like to hear his side of the story. Oh, thank you. It's very simple. I was at the bar enjoying my drink when these brutes here elbowed their way up to the bar, spilling my beverage all over the two of us. Then they dragged me out here. Look at those two. I know what they want. To send me home with my limbs twisted, body battered, and spirit broken. You must help me. This doesn't have anything to do with you, stranger. Just move right along. Have a drink in the cantina. Uh, I won't let you lay a hand on him. Celestins are bros, dude. I love these guys. Just my luck. Someone who wants to be a hero. Why don't you run along before you get hurt? I will punch you and also instill the fear of God in you with my fours powers. Can't we talk about this? Believe me, there's nothing to talk about. Okay. I don't want to fight you. Then you shouldn't have gotten involved. Nice. Well, you've made the first move, so... Prepare to get feared. Maybe. Oh no, did I just use... Oh no, I don't think it... He's just cowering in just general fear, not force fear. Not force-induced fear. <laughs> get him. Come on, get him. He keeps get, has, getting saved. Kriya, you, have, you literally have like wound and stuff. Yeah, you do, do horror. You, you got the higher level one. There you go. Get, get, get some shock in there. There you go. <laughs> oh, thank you. I was completely helpless. Those merchants are too much. I wish something could be done. I love how we're just, like, still in combat stance. Korea just straight up murdered those boys. Why are they allowed to do this? But CSF isn't able to do much to keep peace on the station. Zerk has hired too many mercenaries. Even Zerk can't control them. The Republic must do something about this, but it's anyone guess as to whether or not they will. You should leave in case their friends come looking for them. You speak the truth. I will stay away from this cantina until things settle down. Please, accept this reward. Uh, thank you. No, thank you. I will try and be more careful in the future. Got him. Got some money. Well, we just killed some boys. So that's that. Nice. 
Uh, we've got the cantina that we can check out. We've got someone talking to the wall. The war has really inflated, the war has really inflated prices here in the Outer Rim. Oh, hello there, officer. Uh, <laughs> A Republic ship was supposed to have okay. arrived to take control of the situation. I wonder who knocked out these guards. They're definitely not dead. Nice. So in instead of uh, dealing with uh, repetitive uh, Twi'lek dialogue, um, uh, or like you know, we're dealing with repetitive human NPC dialogue. We've seen uh, a Twi'lek that uh, has this coloration as well. Oh, it's the Race Master. I do not have a swoop. I do not have a swoop bike yet, but that's going to be cool. Once we get ourselves a speeder, um, it's the same as the, the Jedi Chronicler in training that was on Dantooine. Mebla Duel. Hey there! Care for a game of Pazak? Later. Zerka's mercenaries. I heard that a crime syndicate has worked its way into the operation of... Ah, so you must be the Jedi everyone's been whispering about. No more trouble with the TSF, I hope? Uh, can I help you? Perhaps you don't know who I am? Uh, yeah, can't say that I do, bud. Someone with an inflated view of himself? You haven't been on Citadel Station long, have you? Let me introduce myself. I'm Benok, the man in charge of Lopak Slusk's protection. You do know who Lopak Slusk is, don't you? The two gentlemen with me are Matu and Nahata, Slusk's finest men, other than me, of course. Oh, leave the man alone, Benok. I bet he'd come out on top if you fought. Now, Luxa, uh, I meant no disrespect. You're probably Slusk's strongest woman. It's your skin, Benok. Just warning you, Slusk could easily replace you. Okay, interesting group of people. Uh, I don't want any trouble. And I doubt you could cause any. Bruh. Trading jabs with Luxa is hardly the entertainment I was looking for. Let's go. There's a fighting words, boy. Luxa, hello. What's up? Hello there. Hmm. Hello there. Fresh blood at the cantina. Enjoy. Your drinks are on me. We should talk. Later. Fucking alright. Who are you? If you're asking me that, handsome, you're better off not knowing. Tell you what. You just enjoy yourself, and if in the future we have business together, you can come back and we'll have a little chat. You don't have to tell me twice, honey. I'll be going now. I'll be back later. She's laughing at me! Can you believe it? She just turned around and laughed at me. Uh, Corin Fault. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, I don't know, but apparently you're wearing a Zerka uniform, so I guess we're gonna have a conversation about Zerka. You wanna talk about work while you're clearly not on shift and having a good time? What can you tell me about Zerka? What's there to say? We're the only corporation with a branch on Citadel Station. Getting in early, as they say. If this whole Telos thing pans out, we could be in a great position. If Lorso doesn't screw it up, that is. Uh, tell us thing? You mean the planet restoration? Yeah, it's a long shot considering the state of the Republic these days. Still, if it works out, the Republic may decide to start restoring other war-torn worlds. At least, that's what Zerka hopes. If we can integrate ourselves into the process, Zerka stands to make a tidy profit in the future. Okay. Tell me about Lorso. Yeah, Jana Lorso. <laughs> that woman's a... a f look, forget it. She's my superior, and that's that. She'll screw up soon enough, and then I'll move in for the kill. Okay, how do you think she'll mess up? She's got her hands in too many dirty little... <sighs> um, whoa, I, I think I've had a few too many drinks. Uh, I shouldn't be talking to you about this stuff. Just forget it. All right, I'll be going now. Also, uh, you know, the, the female Twi'leks, uh, you know, we've got... You know, different colors, which is awesome. We got the orange, we got the blue, we got the green, we got the pale. Good, I like it. And almost also seeing, obviously, we've got the original, you know, we've got original faces from the first game, like with this guy and uh, that dude over there. But like, we got new faces as well, which I really like and appreciate, you know, add some variety to the mix. We've even got a Deveronian over here, which is awesome. Patron. 
Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand. Yep, and he's very politely English. I don't understand your problem with the Republic. It's not like Onderon hasn't benefited from joining. It was one of the darkest days in our history. Talia sold Onderon to the Republic, and what did we receive in return? Nothing. In exchange for the blood of our soldiers, the prosperity of Isis has been stripped to decorate dead planets like this. Look, if it weren't for the Republic, you'd all be speaking Mandalorian by now. And because we accepted the Republic's aid, we should be indented to them forever? You make it sound like the Republic turned Onderon into a prison colony. Perhaps. Only that the Republic did not even conquer us. Our own betrayed us and allowed the Republic to take what it would. Okay, any uh, discussion between the Republic soldier and the Onderon soldier? The Treasury continues to be sapped for projects like this one. Onderon will be the next death planet on the outer rim. It's always the same story. When things are going well, no one ever thanks the Republic. Oh, when the problems start, that's always where the fingers are pointed first. Cameron ignores you. He might not even speak basic. <laughs> uh, this leaves the cantina. So we got two exits. Interesting. Okay. Entertainment module 081. So this will probably take us. It takes us just around the corner, I think. Yes. So it just takes us around the corner. Gotcha. Okay. Just getting to know the place. I'm sure we'll be back through here anyway. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Citadel Station right now. We need Republic assistance. Something, something profits and... and the war has really yeah. inflated prices here in the island. Something about profits, bro. Medical supplies are in short supply. Inflated profits. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand. Are they? Too much for the TSF okay. to handle. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF station. How may I be of assistance? That is um, the same voice actor for Admiral Yalaren. Good old Tom Kane. Lieutenant Gren said to come here to get the Ebon Hawk and the rest of my possessions out of impound. I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. I Searching. Think... One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. The TSF believes it was stolen and is currently investigating. From the Silver Sable, bro. Holy shit. She... she abducted our ship? What do you mean, gone? It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' surface instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government-sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I knew it! That stupid T3 unit stole our ship! It's probably joyriding through the system right now, laughing at us, laughing at me. That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebon Hawk leaving the system. Wait, you're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos' surface? I don't understand. Telos' atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in residential module OE2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Silver Lady took our ship and has taken it somewhere, so we're just, we're stuck. You know, he, what happened to the keys of that thing? I guess you can fly the ship, you know, still, you know, they didn't lock the, they didn't voice lock the controls to the ship. <laughs> we couldn't just, you know, put a lock on it so no one can open the doors and just fly off, but alright. <laughs> can I get my possessions back at least, please? Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. You Thank will find them in the security lockers. Thanks, Chief. What am I supposed to do now? I am not qualified to answer that question. However, it is unlikely that someone could steal a starship from under TSF observation without considerable backing. If your vessel has been stolen, there is a fair chance that the Exchange possesses relevant information. I do not know what else to suggest, beyond waiting in your quarters for further word. 
Great. So, guess we'll be going to that exchange portion. I knew we'd be going there eventually for something. Just not for, you know, ship stealing inquiry. Tell me about the exchange. The exchange is a major intergalactic crime syndicate. They are trying to gain a foothold in the Citadel, most likely seeking to integrate themselves as fully as possible with the new Telos. It is rumored that the Bumani Exchange Corporation, located in residential module 082, is a front for the exchange on Citadel Station. Mm. Mm, interesting. Almost as if that was obvious. <laughs> Isn't there anything more the TSF can do? Not beyond investigating the matter and extending our offer of free room and board. Okay. Um, how about I wait here until you get me another ship before someone gets hurt? <laughs> no, I'll just say I'll be going now. Okay, journal entry added. Ebon Hawk, stolen! The TSF protocol droid told you that the Bomani Exchange Corporation, located in Residential Module 082, is rumored to be an exchange front. Let's go have a chat to them, apparently. Alright, so. Locker. Give me that stuff. Ah, my eyeballs. Ah! Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. God, we're just getting everything now, aren't we? All of the things. Ooh, Mandalorian combat suit and a blaster rifle. Okay, now. Time to get dressed. So. Defense 3, text bonus 5, immunity versus, yeah, check that shit out, oh, baby. Nice. Um, Gamorrean gauntlets. I had more gauntlets than that. I'm missing stuff. I had more stuff. I am, I'm missing things. Hmm. I'm definitely missing some stuff that I, that I did have. I'm missing my own named character's shield. I had a I had a shield of my own. Um, let's put on the Vibro Sword. Oh, the Vibro Blade actually has bonus iron damage. Actually, I think Vibro Blade is what I'll chuck on. Switch that to a uh, advanced mining laser if I need to. I don't even have I don't even have any implants. What's going on? Hmm. And you we don't have the I don't have the double bladed Oh <laughs> Ooh, Yeah, that makes sense. Giving Kriya a double bladed weapon to use with both her hands for the intro was funny because now I can't give it back to her. <laughs> right, that, that does make sense. I wonder if we can get her a little little robot arm. Get you a little robot one. All right, we'll give you a vibro blade. There you go. Um, you there, you can have the. I uh, don't even have my heavy pistol that I had anymore. Where did all my shit go, dude? I don't have everything that I had. Oh, hang on. There's a, that's because there's one that I missed. There it all is, dude. <laughs> I was literally like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, my character, bro. <laughs> Ooh. Eh. Just trying to look at my fucking stupid ass. Stupid ass. Stupid ass head. <laughs> Lose visors, dude. Alright. I don't have to freak out as much anymore. There we go. There we go. Put, I can get my shit back. There we go. See, I was freaking out, dude. Yeah, we're good. Um, okay. Reflex, demolitions, fortitude. Okay, I'll cancel that. Now. I think I had wisdom plus one on. Perfect. Kriya, you can have will plus two. The insulated gloves, because why not? Let's also give you some constitution. Energy shield. 
give you the ability to have cardio regulator on. Perfect. Atten, let's get your shit on now. We'll give you awareness and we'll give you gamarine gauntlets even though you don't need them. We'll just, just wear them anyway, dude. Um, give you the safety harness for more demolitions and then you've got the blast rifle 1 plus 12 that's 2 plus 16. Yeah. Heavy blast 1 plus 10. This bad boy. Heavy mining laser. Okay. Nice. Nice. Alright, everybody's everybody's dressed. Everybody's ready. We got all our shit. We definitely got all our shit. Yes. Uh, actually. Just say the word. Uh, hang on. Um, clothing. I think. Yeah, you you have a jacket instead of clothing. Even though it's the same, let's make sure we actually put your clothing on because your clothing actually has stuff. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Ah, my eyeballs in this room, dude. All right. Hello there. Something I can help you with? Oh, there's the there's our boy. Uh, how will you recover from the destruction of the Paragus mining facility, my dude? To be honest with you. I just don't know. Okay. We desperately rely on the fuel to keep Citadel Station running. If we can't find a new fuel source soon, we'll be in bad shape. How bad? There's enough fuel in the reserves to keep Citadel Station from falling out of orbit, and for managing the restoration project, but not much more than that. Can't the Republic increase funding for the station? If only it were that easy. The Republic's tight on credits right now, still recovering from the war. They're sparing all they can, but it's not enough. We relied almost completely on Paragus for our fuel. It's hard to make up for a planet's worth of fuel exports. Is there anything that can be done? Absolutely. We need to find a new fuel service, sign contracts, make agreements. A soldier like me is not good at that sort of thing. Fucking, I don't want to do that. Why? I don't want to sign contracts and make agreements. Why am I even offering my services, dude? I'm a Jedi, not a fucking contractor. I but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the right thing to do. I can help if I'd like to. It doesn't sound like my sort of thing either, dude. But, like, I need to level up in this game so I can become a powerful Jedi. You? You've got enough trouble, I think. And this is all your fault anyway. Excuse me? All my fault, you fucking old... You need... You're testing my patience. I'm going to turn to the dark side on your ass in a bit. Still think I'm to blame? Look, it doesn't matter what I think. But sure, if you find someone with a load of fuel in their hand they'd like to sell to us, let me know. I'll be waiting. Oh, you dickhead. New fuel source bonus mission. Lieutenant Dole Grant of the Teller Security Force has told you about the precarious fuel situation. I don't know if he deserves it after, after that language. Oh, and this is where we were imprisoned. No dead body of the dude that we took out for us to uh, loot. They would have chucked that boy in the incinerator real quick. Alright, in that case, looks like we have to go back. I knew that we would. Where does this go? Ah, oh, this takes us to the docks. We can take this droid while we're here. Go get this droid. Oh, we got travelers. What's up? Can't even talk to you. Sup, travelers? I'm surprised there are so many people traveling with things as dangerous as they are. I thought everyone would stay home, says the traveler. I hear the refugee problem on Nar Shaddaa is getting out of hand. I met someone who managed to escape. Ah, ah. So you're Habab's errand boy, hmm? Oh, we got some Zerka boys coming to give us some trouble. What's it to you? I'm hearing a droid tapping around. There he is. <laughs> I thought it might have been a combat droid, but nope. Just a protocol droid in the back. Zerka has an offer for you. Uh, what's Zerka's offer? Janna also is prepared to pay you the sum of 250 credits for returning the Ithorian's droid to Zerka. Did Habat offer you anything other than some empty promises? 250 credits, bruh. You, everyone's cheap, cheap in this game, dude. I'm gonna need you to add some zeros on the end of that one, man. I may be a Jedi, but I also like money. <laughs> 
I gotta buy myself some fancy threads and some lightsaber upgrades. It's an expensive galaxy, dude. You can't give me 250 credits. I'm not interested. I can tell you're too thick-headed to see through the lies you've told yourself, but if you have any doubt, talk to Jana Lorso at the Zerka offices in Residential 081. <laughs> uh, like, everyone's like, let's go. That was an extremely long sentence for just saying, let's go. <laughs> uh, I love that they're like, oh, okay, fine. Go talk to Jana Lorso. I'm like, no, I'm ducking her calls, dude. <laughs> Greetings. Trodo Habat sent me to help deliver the replacement restoration droid. <laughs> yes, he sent word ahead of you. Please enter. They're waiting for you inside. Nice. Alright, before we go in there, I'm just going to have a quick look around the rest of the dock. Greetings, sir. My primary function is to provide information about Citadel Station, Telos, and a variety of other topics. Please feel free to direct any of your inquiries to me. And I will do my best to answer your questions. I'd like to know about Citadel Station, please. Citadel Station is devoted entirely to restoring the destroyed surface of Telos. It is under the control of the Telosian Council. The restoration project itself is funded by the Republic. Tell me about the station's layout. Citadel Station is divided into many modules, each serving a specific purpose. You are currently at Dock Module 126 which connects by shuttle to Entertainment Module 081. From there, another shuttle will connect you to the nearest residential module, 082. Uh, I'd like to ask you about something else. Please feel free to direct any of your inquiries to me. I'd like to know about Telos. The surface of Telos was destroyed via orbital bombardment during the Jedi Civil War. It is now largely uninhabited, save for a few research stations run by workers and scientists who have clearance to be on the surface. Uh, why is surface access restricted? For a variety of reasons. Safety is the government's number one concern. Also, there is a great concern towards the prevention of environmental contamination, the security of ruined military facilities, and other lesser issues. I'd like to ask you about something else, except I can't, because those are the only two things I can ask you, so I'll be out of your hair if you had any. Uh, we've got the Republic dock here. Bay 1 airlock. You gonna, guys gonna let me in? Nope. This dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF investigation. Move along. Move along. Alright, well, maybe later. We can open that with the terminal right next to it. Oh, a Taras citizen! I've been waiting for my flight to Taras for five years! <sighs> you, um, you don't really keep up with the news, do you? I've been waiting for my flight to Terrace for five years. <laughs> Bruh, what? <laughs> Keep waiting, dude. Keep waiting. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, as soon as I saw that Terrace citizen pop up, I'm like, ooh, that uh, stings, doesn't it? Okay, Juros. This is Docking Bay 3. If you have no business here, please be on your way. <laughs> what goes on here? It's privately owned and operated by the Citadel Station of Zerka, because of course it is. Any relevant inquiry should be directed to the Zerka offices. Alright. Well, makes sense. See you later. I'm gonna get this droid. And I'm gonna take it to our Ithorian buddies. That is a spacesuit. Where did droid it? I'm sure it's behind the airlock. Can't interact with those. Airlock terminal. Open bay door. Nope. Okay, we're my Thorian. Just looking out if I'm gonna get attacked by something. <laughs> Hello there. I'm glad you're here. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh no. Atten's supposed to say that. Yes, we're all pleased to see you. Trodo Habat has said there were another arrived to help us. Excuse we... Me, master, but it seems we have some additional visitors. Of course we do. Yo, these aren't even Zerka. Who are you? How did you get in here? Just thugs, okay. Do you ever hear the tragedy of uh, Darth Flurry in your face? Um, 
Do, 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 do. Hey, Kriya, you ever heard of what? horror? Kriya, what are you doing? 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 Kriya, what are you fucking doing, dude? Running a lap over the ship? What the fuck? Kriya, what are you doing? Where that came from? Fucking my character's just killing them all anyway. What the fuck? Alright, just attack him. Honestly, don't even waste my time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful for your assistance. That was most terrible. I wonder who could award awarded such a thing. An assassin's tool. It is no surprise that hired killers would carry weapons such as this. Fuck me, bro. <laughs> I'm like, Kriya, use horror on these fools. Yeah, I'm just going to run a lap of this ship real quick. I hope you don't mind. And then, it doesn't even matter anyway, we just slice them to pieces. I think I've just... I'm taking every combat encounter in such a cautious manner now, because those mining droids... <laughs> ...really caught me off guard with how challenging they are compared to everything else we've encountered so far. Uh, Alright, awareness. It looks as though the blaster has been heavily modified. That's cool. I like how our awareness has a dialogue option. Interesting, I believe you are correct, though I am by no means an expert. Such modifications are illegal on Citadel Station. Lieutenant Gren should be informed so that they might in conduct an investigation. I leave it with you, but more importantly, you must take this droid back to Chodo Habat. I fear there may be more attacks if we do not see it quickly to safety. Alright, yes, I'll get the droid back to the Ithorians right away. Nice. Modified holdout blaster. Um, Alright. New fuel source, replacement restoration droid, band of mysterious attackers, and you've discovered a suspicious holdout blaster. So we'll talk to Lieutenant Gren. A lot of quests. A lot of quests. So, Kriya, kind of useless. Running around with, with a fucking... <laughs> just running around the ship. This dude did not even help out. Phew, I'm glad that's over. Still, death might have been preferable to the amount of paperwork I'm going to have to fill out for this. Okay. Now, I'm assuming this droid is just going to follow. I mean, I'd like to assume that the droid is just going to follow us, but... Who knows? Yo. I will trust your judgment, Master. Lead the way. Cool. Follow me to the Ithorian compound. Ah, oh, nice. Do we get a fast travel? Yes, we don't have to just... I was hoping we didn't have to just walk with it. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you, game. Ah, I'm gladdened by your safe return. My people sent word of what happened at the docks. I am yours to command, Master. Good, good. Our computer system has been prepared for your arrival. You may begin transferring your data into it immediately. I shall do so now, Master Habak. Farewell. And farewell to you as well. Done. Droid delivered, man. I'm grateful for your help in this matter. Please accept this as a gift from my people. Um... I found this blaster in one of the assailants. I don't think he cares about that, bro. Uh, thank you. Now what? The incident at the docks confirmed one of my fears. The gunmen were from the exchange. Zerka has hired the criminal syndicate to work against us. Long have I suspected the Zerka and the exchange work together. The former supplying manufactured arms to be sold via the latter's black market channels. Now, with the TSF keeping a closer eye on Zerker activities, the corporation has turned to the exchange to be its fist on Citadel Station. What is there to be done? I have tried to meet with the leader of the exchange here, a quarren called Lopak Slusk. Ah, uh, that's Lopak Slusk. He has refused my every invitation and allows no one assigned the exchange suites. I fear he does not take us seriously. The Jedi, though, are renowned as warriors and diplomats both. Perhaps you might speak with Lopak and show him the value of a restored Telos. Which means we've got to go back to the cantina, I think. I'll go speak with him. I am most grateful for your assistance. I will guide my thoughts towards your safety and Lopak's as well. I wish harm upon no one. Interesting. We got some Gamorrean War Gloves. Which I think we already... Oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, journal. 
Ithorian Diplomacy, Trader Hamat has asked that you speak to Lopak Slusk on behalf of the Ithorians. Lopak, the leader of the local exchange branch found in Residential Module 082, has been harassing the Ithorians while in the employ of Zerka. So we've got some uh, we've got some stuff to do with uh, you know the holdout blaster. We can talk to Gren about it while also needing to figure out this restoration project because we we this is what we got to do. Uh, for a, for a few days until this Republic ship arrives, because the Ebon Hawk's missing. So we'll just be we'll just be fucking around for a while, helping out Telos until we uh, until we uh, pro progress. So let's upgrade some let's upgrade some skills. You know, upgrade the skills that we we love and care about the most. There we go. Uh, new feet. Let's have a look now. Uh, we can do improved dueling, which is probably a decent idea, and also maybe weapon focus, plus one attack bonus with melee weapons, plus two to attack, plus two to defense, which is actually probably the better option that we want to go for. Let's do that. Let's add improved dueling. Powers. Now upgrade to night speed, force aura, effect mind, destroy droid, force barrier, absorbing the first four points of damage, damage over and above first four points is suffered as normal, energy resistance, force valor, force resistance, and then Force Aura, plus two bonus for defense. I'm gonna do Force Aura, I'll give us some light side powers, maybe. Except, nice. Okay, nice. And with that one, guys, we're gonna bring this episode of Knights of the Old Republic to a close. So we've landed on Telos. There's been a bunch that's just happened immediately. We got arrested, we got investigated, there was an assassination attempt. Uh, then there's this whole restoration committee. We're getting phone calls. We're basically a celebrity. We're running around this place doing who knows what for everyone. The Ebon Hawk's been stolen. There's there's a lot going on right now, so we're going to work our way through some uh, seemingly side quests and help the Ithorians with the restoration project until, uh, you know, this Republic ship shows up. And we also need to hunt down our own uh, our own missing ship that was taken by a, uh, a silver mystery lady. We'll have to see how we go next time. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Knights of the Order Republic 2, and I'll see you then.